Yeah, I mean, it's quite important that I believe uh, all the financial institutions have actually come to determine that open banking has become a real strategic priority for them. Uh, and that be has become very evident in an expo like this one. So I'm quite happy for that. And, uh, and I'm also happy that everyone is stating that by 2025, open banking API should really be mass spread and consumed. Uh, that's a very good question. I, I think security, first of all, it's a matter of perception from a consumer perspective there. I think both uh, regulatory standards, frameworks, and ourselves in the industry haven't really done a fantastic job in trying to promote, promote the concept of security in open banking. I think we've been asking the wrong questions as well. Instead of actually asking consumers to share their data, we should be asking them to, whether they would like access to alternative products or services there. And if that being the case, then we should actually ask them to share enough data to provide for that service, to actually provide them with the alternative purchases method as well. I believe that in terms of uh, commercial banks, like main main state banks i think open banking is allowing them to actually diversify and invest in technology in a much faster and cheaper way by actually collaborating with fintechs for for fintechs and, and non-banking financial institutions and challenger banks open banking is both uh, a, an opportunity in the way that they can actually scale in terms of economies of scope and scale uh, their products much faster by actually collaborating with with commercial banks, with tier one banks, but in the same in the same manner, they actually have to ramp up their services and ramp up internal in terms of HR staffing and resources much faster. So that could actually become quite an issue for them because they're going to have to move at quite a different speed from what they're actually used to in doing business only with fintech organizations there. And in terms of consumers, I mean the, the nirvana for every for everyone is actually to try and create with the concept of open banking customer-centric propositions, propositions that actually have a, a, a meaningful impact in the life of consumers around the world. Uh, and that basically means having the creation of a concept of like hyper-customized uh, digital propositions that actually affect consumers not only in their financial lives, but in every single action they do out there. Because I mean, the reality is that open banking is not gonna, only going to be something that is going to be uh, used by financial institutions, but there is going to be more and more the emergence of like technology giants that are going to come into effect in the concept of open banking there. Yeah, Form 3 is going through a fantastic period, to be honest with you. 2019 was extremely successful. And in 2019, we were the, the company that has actually enabled the majority of the access into the faster payment scheme in the UK. And of that, we are very proud. But 2020 is really bringing the expansion of Form 3 outside of the UK and outside of Europe, uh, both metaphorically with the actual launch of our international payment service proposition, uh, but also uh, technically with actually launching some very exciting partnerships that you're going to see in the news in the next coming months as well with companies that are outside of Europe as well but also launching uh, our market expansion internationally as well. I believe that 2020 is going to see the, the emergence of much more partnerships between uh, companies like Google, uh, Amazon, Facebook with, uh, with tier one commercial banks and fintechs there. Uh, what has actually happened with JP Morgan opening up their digital wallet service to the gig economy and to the technology giant is just the first step towards that direction. But also I see 2020 as the real year where consumer trust is going to have to be gained by financial institutions for the concept of open banking. And I, I really see the emergence of uh, uh, payment, um, basically payment institution service providers and account institution service providers has been a uh, mainframe in the, in the UK and the, and the amount of data that is going to have to be shared by, by banks is going to have to be equal in that space and that's really something that I expect happening before end of Q2 in 2020 already.